Welcome back to the Erasmus Mundus Scholarship Series. We are in the second episode and I'm sure you have spent some time on researching about uh, the program you want to uh, apply for. I know the process isn't as simple as it seems. You must have been uh, finding it very hard to find a program. So this video would be dedicated about how to find a program. Obviously, it is something which comes within you and you should be able to come up, but I will be sharing some tips which would help you uh, in selecting the best program for you and you can choose more than one program. You can, there is no limit to apply, but it's always good to apply for those programs which are related to you and you find some kind of connection with that program and you see yourself uh, doing something with that program in future. You just don't have to apply for the sake of applying. So that's very important. So the first step for this video is making a Google Sheet. So you can make something like this, uh, an Excel sheet or a Google Sheet. Uh, you can add these columns, name the columns. So just this is a sample to help you out. and. Uh, this is very important to organize things and that will help you know what are the deadlines, what is the, what are the requirements. Obviously for requirements you can make more columns. This is just very generic kind of simplistic but you can make it as advanced and as fancy as you want. So let's uh, go to the catalog again and see uh, and let's explore a program through uh, an example and I will fill the details on the sheet. So let's say, let's try Erasmus Mundus Joint Master in Artificial Intelligence. So I copy the link, I add it here. Let's suppose you have researched on it and you really liked uh, this course. So it's called EMAI, Erasmus Mundus Artificial Intelligence, I suppose. suppose. So we copy this then the sector which we can use is AI and let's see what is the deadline so we can also save this in the booklet as an example uh, for you to uh, research on it later then this is the website of EMAI okay so EMAI uh, the application for this haven't even opened yet it's 15th of November 2023 so it's a very good idea to mark a reminder in your mobile for 15th November. And for what I know right now, we can still explore a lot of things on this website and we can do our uh, research and everything. So this tells an application phase, it opens on 15th uh, November and you will be having a deadline till 8th of January. So we can write 8th of January here and we can also check the requirements so this tells us about the selection criteria and it says pre-scan a scanning a screening phase pre-selection selection ranking interviews and final selection so it's a very comprehensive uh, process and we can see all the details on it and uh, you need uh, all the mandatory documents and etc and a credit card and debit card as well so let's see what are the requirements these are your personal details i won't go detail in that uh, fill these details and go on the next page and similarly just don't submit it just note down what are the requirements apart from this what you can do is at this stage uh, you can go back to this page and you can know about the scholarship this scholarship is for those uh, like this is the tuition fees of the university uh, you don't need to worry about that so you can read more about the masters note down the points check out the website of these universities uh, admission requirements are here which I was searching on the website so you need a passport, you need bachelor's degree from, uh, so our bachelor's, most of the country's bachelor's degree is covered in this. Uh, you need to check this, it varies country to country. Then you need a transcript with a GPA from your country of origin, which would be your bachelor's degree. You need a CV, 
the length is maximum two pages then letter of motivation in english 600 to 800 one minute video two letter of recommendation both from academic profiles so this is very tricky sometimes you have graduated from your university from a very long time and then it's suddenly it's so hard for you to like reach out to your professor and ask for a recommendation letter and they don't respond properly so this can be a big challenge but you need to do it and this is very very important for your selection then this program have a questionnaire which you need to fill uh then there is an english certificate so they are giving you an option uh you need a language test so either you can do toefl ibt ielts academic or cambridge so with certificates with a two-year validity at a time will be accepted student holding bachelor's degree from research so well i'm not going a lot in details but you can get a lot of information from these websites you need to spend some time and just research on it and it's important so uh going back to this so let's see an example of some other program like global for, for uh, forestry so this includes five countries this is also valid for the next session um then apart from this you can go to the website of forestry globalforestry.eu so our global forestry ms program will be recruiting in 2000 c how to apply so they will open on let's check applications application procedure non-eu if you are from eu then it's different so So you need to find the details. So we will be offering admission from late February until mid-March. So you must check the application portal during this period. So for example, this period opens in February and closes in March. So maybe some of you can add a column for opening as well as closing. So it is important and you need to check out all the possible details you have. And look, this is a portal on which you can apply. So you need to check all the details and it is important you have relevant experience and passion and everything to this program. If you don't have it, you are just wasting your energy. Okay, another thing which is important is, for example, uh, we go to uh, Erasmus Mundus. So I'm from Pakistan and I'm just checking out uh, the details in this group because everything is mostly available in this. And similarly, you would be having a uh, group uh, on Facebook or a global group or your country's group on Facebook and it's very helpful. So there was EMAI which we did earlier. So I just wrote EMAI so we can get a lot of questions. EMAI results are out more than 600 applications for 20 fully funded so individual feedback is not provided. So just go through all of this and you will get plenty of things. You can even connect to a lot of people, maybe talk to them on Messenger, be very humble, friendly. You don't need to push something because you are seeking for help. So you need to be very nice, professional and really do your homework, which I shared in the pre previous video as well. You just don't need to go casually and give an impression that you know nothing about the program and you are just here for the first time. When you ask someone, you should show some intent as well that you did some work. That was about um, how to reach out to people, how to research about the program. Another thing which you can do is on go on LinkedIn, search about the program and you will get a lot of posts. What kind of uh, content was done on uh, during the courses because people tend to like personally, I share what is going on in my semester on LinkedIn. So obviously students do share stuff about their life updates their uh maybe some alumni is posting about their job opportunities so you can like uh make a long list and then slowly sh start to shortlist like uh for example i wrote 10 programs and i'm like these five are more related to me i see myself inclined more toward these five compared to the rest five so you can start shortlisting and in the end, for instance, you find three, four programs which are very close to you. In most cases, 
finding three, four courses is very rare. More, majority of the pe people just shortlist two, maximum three. That's average. Uh, for me personally, I have shared many times. I just applied in one program and that was goals. And uh, that only that one was something which was really close to me. In most cases, I did like some programs. Uh, but the issue was their requirements. So they required a bachelor's degree in uh, computer sciences and I have a background in business administration. So automatically I am out of the race because of the uh, ineligibility of my uh, bachelor's uh, of my profile as well. So you need to check all the things before starting your hard work. So this was all from this video and in the next video I will be sharing more details about uh, the letter of motivation and uh, all other requirements. But uh, till then, uh, I hope you would be working and finalizing on the program. And with the next episode, I would be assuming you would have done all the uh, hard work which you need to do. And hopefully the process would slowly uh, start to get easier for you because once the programs or program is selected then things start to get uh, done a little quicker so see you and good luck